We're back on Access Carolina. The first solo exhibit for artist Shelley Kime called The Tenth Attempt is happening tonight and Saturday at Railside Studios in the West Village. Shelley is here with the piece that inspired the whole thing. And we've got Sam offset too because yeah. he's going to make a cocktail to match the part. This will be fun. Welcome. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Um, this is, you know, Shelley, you painted the impressionist landscape and then a variety of media to, to go with it. Um, is it this? It's this piece right here. This is right here. Piece. So you painted yeah. that and then everything to go with it. So tell us about that process. What went into it? Yeah, so I'm an emerging artist. I left a career to start art, and this is my first solo exhibition. It'll Very be good. today and tomorrow. And this piece started it all. So there's 10 additional that every inspiration after that stemmed from this original piece. Okay, we've got that on screen right now. That original yeah. piece, what is it about that piece that moves you to, to create everything else based on it? Mm -hmm. The, the small piece started from just having leftover paint on a palette, and mm -hmm. I really loved it, and I wanted to do more, so I took the opportunity to be creative and do 10 more pieces. Okay, and, and how do you categorize this kind of work? Um, impressionist landscape. Uh, this is oil, but the 10 pieces also have acrylic. I love to work in textile, so there's some in fabric. Okay. I sew um, as well, so it's a variety. There's even one in watercolor. So you've been in art for, for how long and what forms? I've been painting since high school, which has been a while, um, but brought it back about two years ago. I have a studio at Railside, and mm -hmm. I left a career in event planning and started painting seriously for about one and a half years now. Wonderful. So yeah. you're living your dream here. You've got the yeah. studio, and then you must just be so excited about the exhibit tonight, and you wanted to make it extra special. So. What do you talk to Sam about? What's Sam going to bring to this? Yeah, so being in events, I love to host. Mm -hmm. I like to bring in art and food and beverage. So Sam has done a few events with me, and this one was a cocktail based off this piece of art. Okay, And we'll Wonderful. make one today. So Sam, your, uh, the, the mixology is a complement to this art. Um, what, in, what went into your artistic process when you were coming up with this art? Uh, Shelly told me, uh, she sent me a couple of the images of the, the paintings that were going to be there and we kind of talked through uh, what, not really what those were, we talked through the color palette because um, yeah. we wanted the, the drink to match what was going to be up on the walls and so we came up with something, um, it's got some matcha in it and some other things, it's a layered drink to kind of, again to, to match some of the, the paintings that you can see. Okay. Um, your beverage yeah. is something in the green. Yes. Um, you know, go ahead and, and make that up as you as as cool. you're inspired to do so. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so Sam is going to take it away and start making. Uh, go ahead and tell us how you start. All right. So uh, this is the glass we're going to be using. In the bottom of this, we've got boba, so tapioca pearls that are rehydrated. Uh, I don't know. You can sort of see them right there. Um, but what I did is I soaked them in coconut rum and a brown sugar syrup. So that okay. is the base of our our cocktail. And then we're going to add the ice. And as you keep making it, we'll watch your hands work. Um, tonight's event, you know, Sam is on one side. He's making up the drinks. I imagine there's there's music in the air. What kind of scene is, is at the exhibit tonight? Yeah, so I'm actually doing um, a background of Rick Rubin. He's a kind of my inspiration each day. I put on an audio of him, and he inspires me to get creative and do things my way. So you'll get to hear his book playing in the background. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have some treats out, and it's a studio, cool. intimate studio and, event. And as we watch Sam finish up, I know that you offer some really unique services to, mm -hmm. to clients. You'll go to a client's home. You'll You'll consult with them. You'll provide a property painting session. Um, tell us about that art experience. Yeah, I'm always interested in doing more. I love to travel. I know there's art collectors out there that want to meet the artist. I get you know questions all the time about my stories. So this was Very a way cool. to come to their house, be able to paint on site, and and have the art available to them right away. No shipping um, necessary. Cool. And you also do an art and appetite with you hosting an intimate dinner party at your studio. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of ways to incorporate uh, good art and, and culinary arts, uh, mixology arts. Sam, how is it turning out as you're in the well, final it's not layering step? Okay. That's good. It it's cool layering vertically. There's no wrong answers with art. <laughs> it layered right. on this side. But uh, what we've got in the middle, we've got vanilla almond milk in there. Uh, it's just unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then on top, we've got matcha. So mm -hmm. green tea uh, with a Bacardi Limon, so uh, lemon flavored rum. Beautiful. Well, we all have art appreciation in some form. We think it's lovely, and we want to put that information on screen now. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, Shelly Kimes, solo exhibit, the 10th attempt, 
goes from noon until 7 p.m. tonight and Saturday. That is at Railside Studios located at 46 Lois Avenue.